Sears a reported fourth quarter earnings a half an hour ago. Sales came in stronger than Wall Street expectations, but profit uh, was a bit of a different story. We saw a miss there on the bottom line. Chris Liddell is the chief financial officer at General Motors, joining us now from the headquarters uh, in Detroit. Chris, good to have you back on the program. Good morning. Great to be on. And we have been all over this oil story, so let me just start with you on that. Uh, pricing in a higher, a higher price of oil, what is that going to do? You know, what are you pricing in? What are you seeing for oil and how that's going to sap consumer demand? Well, well, clearly it's an issue, but it, it, it's been an issue for a long time. Uh, that's, that's not news. I guess in times like this, it, it's more obvious. But in, in terms of the long-term trend, uh, there's three ways that we think it's going to impact it and, and three strategies that we have associated with that. Firstly, a, a move to alternative forms of propulsion, so think electric vehicles or hybrids. Mm -hmm. The Chevy Volt uh, clearly our best example of that. The second uh, is a move to smaller vehicles, uh, so things like the Chevy Cruze are incredibly important from our point of view, launching very good smaller vehicles. Uh, and the third shift, which is probably in my mind the most important at all, is just an improvement in the fuel efficiency of the whole fleet. Mm. So. Uh, you know, even even things like crossovers now, we're looking at low 30s in terms of miles per gallon. Right. Uh, the Buick LaCrosse, you know, 37. So it's incredibly important from my point of view in terms of the strategy of the company yes. that we address all those three issues, which I think are an inevitable part of the oil story. Anything to mitigate those higher uh, higher gas and oil prices. Uh, Chris, let's talk about your, 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 your quarter that just passed and uh, what you reported. I mean, sure. uh, it kind of underscores what some uh, investors have saying is a concern, whether or not GM can keep this earnings momentum up. You're clearly driving up sales, but is at the expense of your profit margins? Yeah, I, I don't actually agree with that. If you look at the results, and I heard your introduction, uh, we made 31 cents for the quarter, uh, but there were 21 cents of charges associated with that, which we had foreshadowed at the start of the quarter. Add those two numbers together, you get 52 cents, hmm. which is uh, he actually ahead of analyst expectations. So the profitability for the quarter actually came in near the high end of our expectations. So uh, I, I don't actually agree that we're, we're driving well, uh, revenue at the expense of, co of profit. Okay, well then what, can you, what picture can you give us then for the next few quarters and how you are going to keep that profit, profit momentum going? Yeah, well, put the last year in context. Uh, yeah, we came out of bankruptcy 18-odd uh, months ago. The, the incredibly important thing from our point of view was to show sustained profitability. And it's been a large number of years since this company has actually strung together four consecutive quarters of profitability, which is exactly what we did last year. Mm -hmm. It's critical now that even in a tougher environment like higher oil, we continue that momentum. That focus is, has, hasn't changed, and you know, our belief and our ability to do that hasn't changed. Okay. But then, Chris, you know, what I'm driving at as well is that uh, if you're not as concerned as some investors are with your profitability, then does that mean that you might take down some of these incentives that we've seen uh, in order to drive basically customers into your, into, into your showrooms to buy GM cars? Are you going to take some of those incentives down? Yeah, well, we'll start with our strategy, and that hasn't changed. So, you know, levels of profitability may go up and down depending on demand. But in terms of our basic strategy, firstly, to produce world-class vehicles, we'll continue to do that, no change in that whatsoever. Uh, incentives, our basic intention is to stay at or around industry levels. We'll use them tactically every now and again, but we're not going to uh, use incentives as the primary way of addressing our customers. We want to have better vehicles, not incentives being driving demand. And cost. It's absolutely critical that we keep a focus on costs. So there's no change whatsoever in our focus about driving profitability, believe me. Uh, we need to address the world that we, are you we cut, get, like oil are you prices, cut which the we incentive? can't control. But Chris, are you going to cut the incentives then, as others have done, like Ford and Chrysler? Oh, if you look at the fourth quarter of last year compared to the fourth quarter of the previous year, our incentives were down something like $800 a vehicle. So we, we would show one of the most dramatic changes quarter over quarter, quarter over uh, equivalent quarter of, of any vehicle manufacturer in the U.S. So yes, absolutely, uh, our incentives have been coming down. Uh, and Chris, also, let's talk about that other part that you mentioned, the costs. Uh, Ford had come out uh, mm -hmm. during their quarter report, quarterly report and said that, look, you know, input costs, essentially, what we're talking about, commodity costs, are going to uh, you know, take essentially about a billion dollars off of Ford and they're going to continue to rise this year. Is that the same story at General Motors? 
Yeah, you will certainly see uh, right across the industry because we have all you know the same basic raw materials going into a vehicle. Uh, you will see uh, almost certainly with what's happening with oil and commodity prices that being a headwind going into this year. Uh, so we also foreshadowed that at the beginning of the third third quarter. Um, we would see some of that in the fourth quarter. So yes, I think you will see that play out. That that again is just one of the factors in the world that we have to address. Chris, thank you. Appreciate you joining us. Chris Liddell, uh, the General Motors CFO.